Hey everyone, welcome to your 33rd JavaScript basics video in which we're going to take a look at what document and window objects are in JavaScript and basically how to work with them. So in the last video we took a look at what DOM is in JavaScript, the document object model and how it basically creates a tree out of your HTML structure so that you can manipulate it later on. So now to most um, interesting objects you can say in JavaScript which exposes DOM API to you are window object and the document object. Well, as you might have guessed, the document object gives you access to the whole document itself at once. You see when I hover over this, the whole screen turns blue because the blue thing shows you what you have been working with, right? So for example, if I go to elements and over over h1 you can see the blue area actually shows me where the h1 is right just like that when i hover over document the whole screen turns blue because the whole screen is document right when i expand this you see we get our regular html structure right here the window object however is is above document so what do i mean by that well if you expand window object here you would see there are a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of properties here for window object, right? Window is an object. We have talked about objects, and objects can have both methods and properties. Window object has both methods and properties, and uh, you would see that somewhere along here, we would be able to find document as well, right there. So you can see that window actually contains a document object. You can see it's similar to that. Right, so now if I write window dot document is equal to document, you see we get true because both of these refer to the same particular object only. Right, we have been doing alerts and confirms and stuff like that. You see that is browser specific, so browser has the responsibility to expose those alerts and confirms and stuff like that to us. So we just earlier we just did alert and it worked. But what the browser is under the hood doing is actually calling alert on window.alert because alert is actually a method on this window object, right? So, um, just a quick little tip here if you want to check a particular property or a function exist in an object, what you have to do is just write alert in window. It says me true. What do I mean by that? What does this mean? This is basically just like, for example, if I create an object, let's say let's let my object is a1, b2, right? And now I say a in my object, which is true. But if I say c in my object, this key is not there. So obviously this is false, right? So we can see that alert was in my in the window object. We can see that the document is also in window object. We can also see like confirm which we used is also in window object, right? Um, so basically all the browser specific functions of JavaScript you would find in window object, right? Because this window object is provided you by the browser, not by the JavaScript, which kind of may seem confusing. But for now you can just, you know, just remember that window is JavaScript only. So with window and document exposed to us we can do a lot of manipulations to the dom now because document gives us access to that particular dom tree and from here we can access basically all the elements iterate over them change their contents you know change their styling what they what the text they hold animate them stuff like that right so document also comes with a lot of properties so if you want to Take a look at those properties. What you have to do is just write console.tir, I think, document, hit enter, and you would see the properties now. So, whenever you want to, um, you know, sometimes what happens is just like in this case, if you just write document, it will give you the actual document. But if you want to see the properties associated with this particular object, just console.tir it. Right? Once you do that, it will give you the properties document.url will give you this thing document.base uri will give you this thing 
and uh, so on and so forth right combat mode you don't need to worry about all this stuff just just go through it just take a look have a taste what if you can understand you know some things it will be good otherwise this is not really necessary most of the properties here are null because they are not set right but uh, it might be interesting for you to see stuff like this so this was a little introduction to a document object and window object and that's all for this video i'll see you then in the next one